I, I guess the first question that I wanted to ask you was to talk a little bit about the very origin of this idea. I was working with um, an agency, a really large agency that won a massive contract. I was trying to investigate why, how they won this huge contract because the end deliverable was the same thing I had been doing my, all my whole life. And it's like, you can sell a vase for $10 and you can sell a vase for $1,000 and it's the same vase. But it's, I was like, what, how do you do that? How did they just sell this vase for $10,000 when I've been building that same vase for other people for $100, you know? And um, so luckily, because of the situation we're in, we could kind of see peek behind the curtains a little bit and actually find out what exactly was powering those kind of deals. And um, it was this well-defined journey that they promised the client that they were going to go on. And it was through the years and years and years of experience, but not just proven through a portfolio of like, here's the other people we did proven through a process of like, this is what we did. And that really struck me because I was like, if I want to scale, I can't keep putting more hours in to get more money. I need to transition where I am charging more for my hours because I'm being more strategic. And I saw it firsthand at a, at a, uh, a multiplier in magnitudes than I was originally thinking. So that really struck me. And then um, and then in the course of doing uh, the work actually for that client, um, I, I just realized there was this big need, there was all of these milestones that were being accomplished that were pr promised originally when we closed the deal, uh, when they closed the deal. And those deliverables obviously were propelling and getting us to a successful end goal, but they would disappear after a couple weeks and um and that was concerning because it's um it it wasn't a it was stored in my ram it was stored in my brain so i could use that knowledge to continue the product but if we had scaled beyond me doing the design that was concerning that those deliverables that were informing my decisions today were disappearing and so um and so i quickly actually built out a prototype basically the first jump board and began storing the deliverables that attached to each mile strategic milestone, and um, and because it was all high level, it was I, it was shareable to the client. So we shared it with the client. They were extremely happy with seeing <laughs> the progress we're making, where we had been, where we're at now, where we were going, and then where they can get all the links to their stuff. They were like, they just love that interaction. And I was like, why doesn't this exist today? I was like, oh, maybe because it's too simple of a product, you know? It's like, maybe that's why it doesn't exist today. And I was like, wait, that's not a good <laughs> answer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wait a minute, that's a bad answer. So, um, so okay, so that was basically the first, I, I called them um, uh, control towers because it was like, it was this high point view of the runway and all the things that were happening. It's like, it's really speaking to that idea of like, when you, when you show people from 50,000 feet up, what you're going to do, you a begin to really tap into what I saw them do to land the work, which is to build trust with the client that you can do this in a real strategic way. And it helps you during the project because it, <laughs> the clients can actually see the client can see where you're going. And for the team, it helps because then you can let other designers or whatever engage in a strategic process. And then what I realized at the end, because of uh, the, all the contractors working and stuff like that, now we have a proof of work, which is that exact list of like, here's all the stuff we did and promised. Now you can give us a check. And I was, I, 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 I'm, I'm honestly still shocked that that proof of work is a clumsy list of uh, emails of like trying to find those and stuff like that. There's no organization, you know, behind it. And so that that just made me scratch my head. Yeah, because right, I want to interject because they'll spend like you know six figures or whatever on like a massive project, and yep. then you do all this work, and then you're like, ta da! And mm -hmm. it's just like a, here's some Dropbox folders, and here's yep. a Figma file. It's just all over the place. It makes it makes it it kind of cheapens the experience of the very yeah. end. So so much so, hundred percent. So I say the origin was those two things together. The the fact that when you have strategy behind your pro, your your journey or your process you're going to do, you get a multiplier in the work you win. And it's all about building that trust. And then in the, in the actual doing of the work to have a consistent 50,000 foot view continues to build trust in your client, as well as 
lets you scale your team. That was it. Those were huge wins right right away. And I thought there is absolutely a product here, a simple product here that can be extracted into other layers. But that that was the origin of uh, of Dom boards. So it was, it was around what the beginning of the year or the end of last year that I reached out and I was like, yep. December I think or November or something like that. I hey, love my conversation too. Are you a little bored? You you have yeah. any ideas? Yeah, you were like, you just knew you had uh, entrepreneurial energy, which yeah. is the starting energy, right? And then the staying power you have also exemplar like you could do so well which is shocking because most entrepreneurs have no staying power but you'd done that you know you built something and actually put into pro uh, into a place you know a way for them to be sustainable and then that entrepreneur in you was was eating away and so i love that conversation because you're like hey this is where i'm at in life i'm just thinking of this and i just responded basically with like three lines as i usually do and was like yeah, actually, I've been working on this idea called jump boards. I don't even know if I described it, honestly. I, I, maybe a little bit. I was like, something with process or something. And then you replied basically within the hour, and you're like, I'm in, 100%. And I was Because like, okay, I mean, the truth like, is, you could have you said, I'm working on this idea for anything. I'd be like, great, I'm down. Because <laughs> I love working with you, and you're, yeah. everything you come up with is so smart. And it will need a brand and a story to tell, right? Yep. So it, oh it really could have been anything. But no, it was perfect that it was this because I had been building my agency for the past five years and we'd been scaling. Last, last year we did like a little over 4 million in revenue. And it's funny, like I talked to different people and sometimes people are like, oh, you're, you're a small up and coming agency. And then other people <laughs> are like, holy cow, what? You know, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but that's that's where I was. We were growing. We're working with big brands, and we we're winning big contracts because of, we were doing exactly what you just explained. Mm -hmm. And so when you talked about the product, I was like, "Oh my god, this is perfect solution for us!" Yeah. I could immediately see how Jumpsuit would use it, um, and it solved some of my um, my own massive problems of scale. Like you know, there's a handful of people. We work with a lot of freelancers, but there's a handful of people who really like are part of our core team. They're really they're really de developing our disciplines and yeah. best practices, and helping us look at other 1099s and decide, uh, or should we let them in the network or not? You know, yeah. there became a point where there's so much valuable information in like Emily's head, and I'm I'm constantly like, how do we get that out of you? Like, yeah. how do yeah. I get the redundancy of you? Yes. Um, because I don't, I don't expect her to work with us forever for right. one, you know, and like, just, just knowing we'd grow, I need to find more Emily's. And we had explored so many different ways to try to like, get that information out, you know, like Google docs or videos or whatever. But again, to your point, they just always get lost. You use them for a little bit and they disappear. And so with your solution, I was like, oh my gosh, I could, Every, for every single offering we have our, you know, uh, for our clients or every single internal process we have for our team, I could visualize it immediately in a jump board and yeah. I could see how Emily could be like, all right, you want to learn how to do live action production with an enterprise brand where you have mm -hmm. to work SAG and, you know, have all these crazy contracts and stuff for her to just like document that and have her teaching right alongside of it so that anyone can plug in and get it done yes not just at jumpsuit but every other freelancer or agency that's trying to be like jumpsuit and that's where the product really kind of evolved from there from being like is it just a tool to help you sell and fulfill services right is this a tool that also because you've documented your journey and your process and you have like rich helpful materials to help get a job done could you act actually productize that and open up an entirely new revenue stream yeah yeah i love it 